What's up turtle fans? I am the White Foot Soldier and this is an unboxing and review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Classic Collection Metalhead by NECA. Now as I'm sure you are all aware this is a Target exclusive since it is a classic collection from the cartoon, the 1987 cartoon that is. Uh, so we'll take a look here and uh, check out the box art. Um, and then we'll uh, break it open and check out the figure and everything that it comes with. Uh, we get an awesome looking um, image of Metalhead on the front with two turtles, uh, the mighty Metalhead there, um, NECA logo, Nickelodeon, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Flip it over on the side, we get some neat artwork there. Um, I absolutely love this by NECA. Um, this is, um, if you recall from the VHS tapes back um, in the day, uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles VHS tapes, um, where it was the FHE, the Family Home Entertainment on the line. Uh, so that's just a cool touch there um, that uh, NECA did. And then we uh, turn it over in the back, and of course we get images of Metalhead there with um, some of his different accessories and we get a little uh, write up um, of this figure. Uh, so it comes with, I won't read the whole thing, but it does talk about what it comes with. So some of the accessories, it says that it includes six different hands, swappable drill and vacuum, um, arm attachments and an opening chest panel with uh, plug in blaster. So um, a lot of uh, cool things it looks like that uh, this guy comes with. Turn it over to the side, get the same thing pretty much that was on the other side. And on the bottom we get um, you know, the design, development, sculpt, all the good stuff, um, the information on that. Um, and then if we actually open this up, there's a little Velcro there. Open it up and we get Metalhead in a window box. So um, this image is awesome. You've seen that online, I'm sure. Um, that was kind of one of the promotional images. Uh, which looks awesome. So as you can see, there's Metalhead. Now something interesting, um, whenever, um, if you remember the 87 cartoon, um, whenever I was thinking back on things, I could not recall um, how often Metalhead was uh, in the cartoon. So he actually first appeared in season three, which I remember the making of Metalhead. Um, he was built by Krang, um, obviously had the advanced weapons, and basically could mimic the, mimic the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fighting styles. Um, and, it ha and he had um, all their personalities. So uh, then, of course, Donnie reprogrammed him and he becomes good. Um, and then he actually returns for only one more episode. So Metalhead returned um, in uh, season four in the episode Big Bug Blunder. And Donnie actually tries to have him vacuum uh, their TV room. So hence the vacuum uh, cleaner there. So that plugs into his arm and that's where that came from. But I just found that really interesting that Metalhead actually only appeared in two episodes um, of the 87 cartoon, yet he's such an iconic character. You know, we get all these other characters like Bebop Rocksteady, obviously they're in so many episodes. Metalhead is an iconic character, I feel like amongst Turtle fans, and yet he only appeared in two episodes. So it's just little uh, background tidbits of information I wanted to share with you. Uh, so let's open this guy up and check him out. All right, guys, first things first. Um, before I actually bought this figure, I was reading a lot about him online, uh, some different reviews and just some things that people were posting on Instagram and Twitter and whatnot. And one of the things that um, the majority of collectors that I um, follow uh, had said about Metalhead was that he was their favorite from the classic collection so far. And honestly, visually, I can understand why. Because right when I got this guy out of the package and looked at him, he looks incredible. So I completely understand that. Um, I would have to say that he's up there for me. <laughs> um, uh, it just, it looks, looks so good. Uh, looks very detailed. Um, some great accessories. Uh, looks very similar um, from what I compared to the 87 cartoon uh, when I was looking at old images. So yeah, this guy, this guy's got it all. But I do have to be honest too um, with this guy. Unfortunately, I did have trouble getting him to stand. I don't know if that's just mine um, or if that's an issue that some other people have had. For some reason, he wasn't standing right. I just wanted him to stand straight up uh, just so I could, you know, get this review started and um, I had a little trouble. So something I did notice was down at the joint, um, and it may be a little bit hard to see on here, but you can kind of see down in there, you can see the little um, like ball that goes back in, like a little peg in the ball on it, I'm sure that has just like the ball joint. Um, it goes back in, but it's sticking out kind of far on mine. So 
I don't know if that's causing issues. I can kind of see it's it's a little bit flimsy, so I hope that that doesn't break. I'm gonna to try to be careful with it. Um, this one's not like that. Like even if I bend them the whole way forward, you can see the difference between the two. Like that one just, let me see if I can get a better shot to There we go, I think you can see that. Um, that one just kind of sticks out a little further. So that's something that does bother me a little bit because I hope that this isn't going to be fragile and break on me because um, like I said, visually this guy looks uh, incredible. So um, hopefully that's not the case. All right, let's get to the accessories. Of course we said that it has the uh, vacuum. So here we have the vacuum um, bag there, two colors. Um, if that, yep, I was gonna say that does articulate there. So articulation on the, so if he's sweeping obviously, actually take that back so if he's sweeping you can obviously um you know bend that however you would like um and then it just has the uh peg there to plug into his arm socket so a uh, cool accessory again that was from um the season four episode and then we get the drill so this drill actually just plugs right into his hand as well another neat accessory and we get the blaster so this blaster actually plugs into his chest um, so we'll get uh, we'll get all these accessories attached to him here later on, but there's the blaster and then we get the hand swaps. So these hand swaps actually have um, openings in them to hold um, anything that you want. Uh, you could probably you know use some different accessories from um, some of the other figures if you wanted him to hold anything like Leo's katanas or something like that. So there are the um, open open closed fists, I guess if that makes sense. <laughs> and we also have, the completely closed fist. So there's kind of like the, almost like the Hulk, bring it down smash um, fists there. So it's nice to always have some uh, hand swaps. And now checking out the figure, um, I noticed like the plaster on this guy, it does uh, come close to the color of uh, Metalhead from the cartoon. So um, he's kind of has like the olive plaster in. We get the uh, grenades, the belt, um, <clears throat> Let's actually bring him closer to the camera. And the belt is uh, kind of like a rubbery material like the other belts, but it is glued on there. Uh, if we turn him over, the shell looks real cool. Uh, we kind of have like a switch on the back. So that's neat. And we can go up and check out the articulation here. Um, oh, it was tight. Get it in the neck. Some shoulders there elbows so side shot we actually have those are uh, like rubbery um, elbow pads too there and then I think wrist yeah wrist there and then down here wrist themselves um, obviously nothing in the hip or nothing in the uh, waist I mean it doesn't uh, doesn't turn get some ball joints there um, and the knees and then of course the ankles, like I said, the ankles do uh, rotate back and forth. And I really, really hope that this doesn't snap off because this guy's hard to find and I'll be disappointed if, um, if I'm not able to uh, have one that's um, not broken, of course. So just get some cool shots there. We get some uh, good looking paint um, apps on there. We get some yellow knee pads. Um, obviously the uh, feet are green and we have like the orange um, spot on the side, on both sides. Um, cool thing too that I like about this guy is his size so I mean they like they made him like a the deluxe figure of course so he's the the bigger uh, figure and I'm just gonna grab a Raphael here off the shelf I'm gonna put him beside so you can actually see the difference so you can see um actually here let me do this there we go so you can actually see the difference you can see that Metalhead is a lot bigger Raph's head pretty much goes to the shoulder of Metalhead um, so I love that they made him um, bigger. Definitely uh, worth paying a little extra to get this guy um, in the deluxe version. And another feature this guy has too is his chest opens up, of course. So if we open up the chest, we can see we can attach the blaster and we might as well do that now. So here's the blaster again. All right, there's the blaster. Um, it doesn't really go in, like there's a little peg that goes down through there, but it looks like it doesn't really slide in as far as, um, you know, you would think like it doesn't really need to be in that far, but um, like the peg, don't push it too far because it'll snap the peg off. Uh, but that just does go right in there a little bit. And then that, uh, you know, attaches for his chest blaster. And if you want him to sweep the uh, turtle there, you can attach the vacuum on his arm just like that. 
and it just you can obviously do however you want with or however you uh, want to angle it you can do so it just kind of rotates around you can obviously bend the bottom like I said that it has some articulation one thing I did want to mention too before I forget um, this guy's mouth doesn't open so some of the other figures you know that we had uh, reviewed previously uh, for NECA the mouths did open this one doesn't um, it kind of looks like it could but um, it actually does not. So it has like a little opening there by the ears, um, but it's glued. So that's one thing I did want to mention. And he also comes with the drill, as we said. So you can attach the drill. Looks really sweet on the side there if you want to drill down in anything. Of course, this also comes with a super cool uh, backdrop uh, for displaying purposes, of course. Um, we get this basically is inside the Technodrome um, and you can see the different screens, different buttons and things like that. And then the channel six building. So that is awesome. That's going to be um, something again that I'll use, as I mentioned, with the uh, previous releases with like the backdrop for the lair. Um, so I'm really, really loving the channel six building back there. All right, guys, this has been a lot of fun. Um, I love this figure. I understand the hype now. Um, not that I didn't believe it to begin with, uh, but uh, you know, you want to make a stronger opinion of something whenever you actually have it in hand. Now that I do, it is definitely one of my favorite figures now in the TMNT Classic line. Uh, NECA is continuing to deliver some very, very quality products. Um, I love this line. Look forward to see what we get in the future. Um, one last thing I did want to say before we wrap things up here um, is this guy does seem to stand a little bit better now that his joints have loosened up. Uh, still not um, standing uh, great for me. He did fall um, a little bit ago, uh, but uh, he's standing a little bit better now. So it could just be that his joints are a little uh, tight and he loosened up. Um, if you have not picked up this figure yet, NECA is having him on their website for one week. Um, it, it is totally worth picking up. I mean, if you can't find it at your target, that's your uh, next uh, best thing. And you'll be able to get this figure, I believe in November is when they'll be shipping it. Um, it is a great figure. Uh, do not miss this opportunity. Um, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe for more TMNT news and reviews.